Welcome to a special episode on a different day than my usual upload schedule, because, as I'm sure anybody watching this on the day it's uploaded will, will, will know, it is the Christmas. Um, so we have this big boy, who no matter how I put it won't fit on, uh, on screen. Let me go ahead and just try this. This was a uh, advent calendar that they did for Yu-Gi-Oh! a few years ago. I actually don't remember exactly what year. And I figured I would do this for Christmas this year. It was hard to find anything for Pokemon, um, but I did manage to find this. I was wanting to do both, but don't expect the other one. But this one doesn't look bad. So, as with a regular advent calendar, inside of each of these, we just have a single card in all of, you know, all of these 24 doors? Yeah. So I guess we'll open this up and see what we get. Also, it was 2017. I gotta say, like, the art on the front being just, like, that snowman is kind of eh. Like, I prefer the art on the back. It feels more like actual Yu-Gi-Oh. But we're gonna go ahead and start with uh, day one here, number one. And, oh, I already tore the top of it. I really feel bad for tearing this open. Like, it doesn't feel right. But our first card... If it will focus. There we go. Ceremonial Bell, which I actually recognize this one. Now, from what I understand, th there is no random seating. These cards were all picked for a specific purpose, you know, for this set. And there are special ones in here that are, like, Christmas-themed. They also are kind of warped, if you guys can see that, so that might be a bit of a problem. Day two. Yeah, I know you're supposed to do these on all different days, but, uh... Yeah, we're not doing that. I'm not gonna upload 24 videos of one card. All right, we have Box of Friends, which, you know, okay. It's a little Christmas present, so I suppose that makes sense. Also, all of these are having, like, super low attack and defense. As somebody who is still not that keen on Yu-Gi-Oh. Eh. And day three, we actually have the card that's featured on the front of the artwork there. Ghost Trick uh, Jack Frost, which actually looks pretty nice. I mean, like I said, like... <clears throat> the artwork on the front doesn't feel like Yu-Gi-Oh, even though I know it's a Yu-Gi-Oh creature. Because it's just a snowman. Okay, and then we actually have the Yeti that's on the back as well. Which again, feels a lot more Yu-Gi-Oh. The Yeti feels very different from just a regular snowman. And yeah, all of these cards are warped, so I'm gonna have to try and flatten all of these out. But aside from that, they're in really good condition. I mean, they're only three, four years old, so that's not too bad. Day five, Ice Queen. Again, they, they, they've done some good picks for Christmas, yeah. All right, we have the Ice Queen. Not that I know this card at, at all. Day six, we have Tula Tin. Again, don't know it. I'm not that well informed on the Yu-Gi-Oh, but cool. I, for anybody who might not know, I, I've done a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh as a kid. It was like, Arguably my favorite card game because it was one of the only ones I actually played. But it, the series has changed so much since back then. I've done some videos on it more recently. I mean, okay, that's kind of fitting. Firecracker. Um, no, I've done some some Yu-Gi-Oh videos since then. I've been learning more, but there's still so much more. Like I have been so out of the loop. I haven't really learned much lately. Snowman Eater. That is just terrifying. Like, I'm not sure if you guys can make it out too well, the little little demon boy underneath the snowman. But, like, you, I wouldn't even trust the snowman. Like, if, if the point is that that's supposed to trick you into walking up to it, and then that thing, like, eats you, that thing still has extremely sharp teeth and a red glint in its eye. I would leave it alone either way. Okay, I like this one. Wind up, rabbit. It's kind of like the, uh, the score bunny, but it's mechanical. That's actually pretty cool. I like the Wind Up Rabbit. That might be one, probably my favorite one we've gotten from this so far. I gotta say, they've picked some really nice looking cards for this set. Alright, day 10. We have... Whenever it focuses... It really like it, It's really trying to focus on the thing in the background. Mystical Fairy Elphira. That's definitely a name. Ooh, we got a dark card here. Okay. Focus on it. Ignore the background, please. Number 82, uh, Heartland Draco. I only have a couple of the number cards, but they are, like, becoming a favorite of mine. I don't know what the hell they represent, but I don't know. It kind of makes you think like the androids from uh, Dragon Ball. Okay, this has to not be a regular card. Like, this has to only be in this, like, advent calendar thing. Santa Claus for day 12, right in the middle of the box as well. That That's actually hilarious. It's just... Santa mixed with, uh, with with Satan. Day 13, we have Sacred Phoenix of Nif N Niftis? I assume that's pronounced? 
It's a neat little dragon. Okay, new favorite card from this. It's just a chicken. Nothing special to it. Cockle doodle do. Just this little chicken. Oh, okay, it has little hamsters on it. I'm not sure if you go. Yeah, there's a little hamster holding a little chicken, almost like a sunflower seed on its tail and it's on its head. Okay, favorite card. For day 15, we have Token Festival. I mean, okay, I suppose it's fitting. It's a bunch of like elves, but they're kind of more like. They're more goblin-like than elf-like, I suppose. Gift exchange. I do like that they picked a bunch of what looks like children, like children orc things. That That's pretty fitting. Is that like an actual, like, Yu-Gi-Oh shirt? Like, it has like an actual Yu-Gi-Oh, like, card art on the shirt. And that kid looks very upset to be receiving it. It must not be a very good card, I assume. I'm sorry, kid. Your, your siblings at least seem happy. Okay, so day 17, we have Lone Fire Blossom. Which, okay, it, it looks neat. I don't know how Christmassy that is. I mean, it looks, you know, festive, but more like 4th of July kind of festive. For day 18, we have Hoshinengen. Uh-huh. Day 19, we have a little reindeer. Valor Fawn Mystical Beast of the Forest. Okay, that's a long name when they could have just put reindeer and we are nearing the end with day 20 down here on the bottom i feel so bad for tearing this whole box open but we have toy magician which is just fantastic i like that i do like you know like the toy creatures and i don't know that's fitting i don't think there are that many toy creatures though day 21 we have another dark card number 41 baguska the Terribly tired tapir. All right, they really went for for some tongue twister there, but I, it looks more Valentine's than it would be Christmas. All right, twenty one. If I can get it open, good God. Why is this one not opening the same? It's almost like it's impacted in. There we go. All right, so we have Ghost Reaper and Winter Cherries. So, basically, we have Anime Chick with a Scythe. I mean, if, if nothing else is going to get you in the Christmas mood, then clearly Anime Chick with a Scythe will, right? Day 23. Um. Hey, Ternade. Uh-huh. How... How is this Courage the Cowardly Dog Desert slash Monster fitting of... of Okay. And lastly, day 24, the last card. And of course, it's not even a monster card. Uh-huh. Oh, token bomb. All right. Well, it's straight up just Christmas here. Like, you have, like, a Christmas tree in the background. Like, no special tricks to it. We have our little orc guys, orc goblin, whatever you want to call them, back there again. Some sort of altar in the back. Is that supposed to be, like, who they worship? Or is that just, like, their Santa back there on that altar? Um... Oh, those are Karibos! There are Karibos flying up in the air. Like, it looks like some of them are tied to the thing, like decorations, but some of them are actual living Karibos. Are they eating one? What is that that they're eating? Is that a Karibo? And now you guys can really see how curved the cards were, now that they're all stacked up here. Let me get it in focus. Like, they were really curved up, but it's fine. I, I'm sure I can easily get these guys to flatten out. So, I really do hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's not a whole lot. I would like to start doing special things for different holidays. Uh, this was kind of a last minute thing. And, I don't know, I'm just, I was just kind of thought it would be a fun idea. I wish I could have done something with Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh! as well. Either two, two videos on the same day, or just like, you know, both in the same video. You can get those doors to shut pretty well, so if you wanted to preserve this thing, it's not going to look as good as it did, but, you know... You could still preserve it if you wanted to. But with that out of the way, I really do hope you guys are having a great Christmas, or if you're watching this afterwards, that you have had a great Christmas. Obviously, I didn't record this on Christmas Day. I have too many plans. So this is being recorded ahead of time. So, woo. So I really do hope I will see you all in the next video. And goodbye.